Welcome to the video presentation on link list. This is Sweden Hemalata, Assistant Professor, School of Computing Science and Engineering, VIT Chennai. What is a list? Everybody knows a set in, a, in mathematics, which is used to represent a set of objects. Similarly, a list also represents a set of objects however unlike a mathematical set list is a dynamic set that is it can grow and shrink dynamically it is named as linked list because the objects in the list are linked together by a pointer so linked list is a data structure in which all the objects are arranged in a linear order. We have already studied about arrays which is a linear data structure. Then what is the difference between an array and a linked list? In array, the memory space is contiguous. That is, if you declare an array of size 10, 10 memory spaces will be allocated by the compiler. Suppose let us consider the starting address of an array as 1000 and each element occupies 2 bytes then the next element is available in 1002 then 1004 and so on. Whereas in linked list the memory location is non-contiguous. So this no this object is linked by a pointer but the address is not the contiguous space whereas it is non-contiguous because memory is allocated from heap which contains the list of free spaces. So the linear order in array is determined by the array index that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on whereas in the linked list the order is determined by a pointer which is indicated as an arrow here and in array the size is fixed that is if you are declaring an array of size 100 you cannot expect the array to store more than 100 elements whereas in linked list it is dynamic memory is getting created only when the object is created so memory allocation and uh, deallocation are dynamic in the case of linked list. In array, whenever you want to do insertion or deletion operation, it involves a series of shift operation to reflect the change in the structure of array after that operation has happened. So it is expensive. Whereas in linked list, it involves just pointer adjustment to show the changes after insertion or after deletion. So these operations are inexpensive in the case of linked list. Now this presentation covers the concept of singly linked list. What is meant by singly linked list? So in this list, each element is going to be an object with two fields here it is represented as node and each node has two fields namely data field and next field which is a pointer so it points to the next node in the list that is next will contain address of the next node let us consider a list L which holds three objects with the data 31, 10, 27 as shown in this figure. See, this is the last element in the list. So, the next pointer is null represent as a slash here. What you need to traverse the entire list is the starting address of the list. Once you know the starting address, you can traverse the entire list by following the next. So here we have a component known as 
header of the list which is denoted as head the yellow block represents the pointer head which is pointing to the first node in the list now once this is known you can traverse to 31 the next element address is available in the next part so it's pointing here traverse to 10 the next part pointing here traverse to 27 then no more elements in the list so like this we can traverse the entire list having seen the structure of the list how will you define a node so here the node has two parts data and next in C programming language we have a data type known as structure which allows us to declare a variable which can hold elements of different types so here data is of type integer it can also be of flow type character string or double or anything whereas the pointer next is of type node again because it is pointing to the node of same type so here we have in data and pointer next of node type so which is embedded within the structure node you can also uh, use type def keyword to define a user defined data type and use the data type instead of struct node always then having seen the declaration of node how the memory space is allocated for every node dynamically and deallocated dynamically in a C programming language we have a function known as malloc which does the job of dynamic memory allocation for which we have to specify the size of the node which is given as an argument of size of operator now this function returns the space required for storing one data and then a pointer now that is assigned to new node so new node is the address of the newly created node once this address is known you have to assign the value of data so you can assign any data value as the uh, user has entered or else uh, you can define the data value as constant and new node of next next is always null because it is the newly created node so similar to mlog for dynamic allocation we have a function known as free for deallocating the memory space here temp is the address of a node for which the space has to be deallocated so this is passed as a parameter so you can use mlog for dynamic allocation and free for dynamic deallocation okay in c++ we have equivalent operators like new equivalent to mlog in c and delete in c++ is equivalent to free in c so now coming to the operations of a list let us start with search operation so the search procedure finds the first element that matches with the key k by employing a simple linear search starting from first node reaching till the last node returning the address of the node at which it finds a match with the key suppose the key k is not in the list it will return null this is the pseudo code for the same so search we are passing the key and uh, we are going to traverse the list and head as i mentioned in the previous slide head always points to the first node in the list so if you are changing the head value then the address of the first node gets changed so if we don't want to disturb head it's better to assign the value of head to some temporary variable pointer variable here it is temp then use that variable for iteration so here we have a looping construct like while we have to traverse the entire list and we have to 
uh, check whether the data is k so we have a condition like temp not equals null that is we have moved to the end and then temp of data as long as the data is not equal to the key what you are searching you keep on moving in the list that is you keep on updating the temp that is each time temp is updated as temp of next so uh, at one point of time if you have come to the end of the list that is your temp is equals null if you are moving to the next node after the last node when temp is incremented temp will be null because the next of last node is null so if you, you are coming out of the loop by satisfying that condition means that the element is not present in the list or else you can also come out of the looping construct when you find a match so whatever is there in the temp will be returning if it is not null it will be the address of the matched key otherwise it is null if it is list is exhausted and there is no key in the list coming to the insertion operation in the list there are various possibilities like the new node can be inserted at the front or at the end or anywhere between front and end that is at the middle let's see one by one insert at the end insert at the front or beginning of the list now we let us consider the head is pointing to null because there is no node in the list okay now let us consider this is the newly created node with the data 21 and the next pointer is null how how will you insert this node to the list since the list is empty it's enough to make adjustment in the head head should point to this new node now it is pointing to new node now this is inserted at the front now the case is suppose we have some non empty list having some values of this kind now in this case this new node has to be inserted at the beginning now the thing is head should be point to this new node if you do so the next part of this node should be point to 31 only then the link will be connected that is new node will be inserted but how will you get the address of this node if you change the head pointing to 21 because this head is actually containing the address of this node 31 so before adjusting the head pointing to new node the first change should be the null part of this next node which was initially uh, like that should be updated to point to this node because the address is available in head then you can point this head to new node while changing the address of head now this link gets cancelled so the link goes like this head is pointing to new node now that's 21 then 31 10 27 now the node has been inserted at the front this is a pseudo code for the same so insert begin if head is null that's the first case list is empty just assign this new node to head otherwise if the list is not empty first you have to assign the next part of the new node using the head previous head then update head to new node then coming to insert at the end if you want to insert a node at the end of the list so now the case is list is empty we have the new node and it is similar to insert at the friend head will be pointing to the new node suppose if the node is if the list is not empty then this new node should appear as the last element so what is the current last it is 27 now 
after addition the new last should be 21 so for this what you know is the address of the first node so you have to start from the first node traverse the entire list then reach the last node once you reach the last node you will know the address of the last node knowing the address of the last node you have to update the next of the last node to point to the new node now the list gets connected 31 10 27 and 21 now this is a pseudo code for the same insert at the end so initially we are assigning temp to head because we are going to traverse the list so we have to be in the loop till the temp of next is not equals null so temp of next is equals null only for the last node so this loop will get terminated when temp is equals last node once you reach the last node here the address of the last node is available in temp then you can point the next field of last node to point to the new node now insert at the middle let us consider the same list and we want to insert a new node with the data 21 after 10 for this you have to search the list for 10 then after this you have to insert the new node okay so now let us consider we have already seen the function of the procedure search so the search key is 10 it returns the address of the node that contains 10 now the address is available in key now what are the pointer adjustment we have to make it is the address of the next part of the new node should be modified to point to 27 so where is the address of 27 it is there in the key of next so the new node of next is assigned to key of next then key of next can be assigned to new node now by doing this change here this link which was there already gets cancelled so the link goes like this we have 31 as the first node in the list then 10 then 21 and 27 so we have inserted 21 after 10 you can also try insert any value before any element in the list this is for insert middle the pseudo code first is you are calling the method search with the search key and the address of the matched key is available in key then if it is not null that means you have found a match and then the first change should be new node of next should be equals the key of next and key of next should be equals the newly created node new node so if it is null it means that the search key is not in the list so the position you have defined in the operation is invalid having seen the insertion operation in the list let us see deletion operation so again deletion can also be of three types delete the front node that is one at the uh, beginning or delete the node at the end or delete any node in the middle between front and end so all three possibilities can be tried in delete operation 2 let us see one by one first one is delete front so let us consider the same list with three elements and the head is pointing to the first node now we have to delete this first node that is delete if you delete this node what change you have to make if you delete this node then the second node is going to be the first node so 
whatever was pointed to by head should be now made to pointed to by 10 that is the pointer adjustment you have to make so you have this link is getting cancelled then I am making the head to point to 10 now the list is since head is pointing to 10 this is the first element 10 then we have 27 so the node at the front was deleted and this is the pseudocode for the same now deletion if head is not null it should not be empty list, list should not be empty for deletion so deletion is not null then head is updated to head of next because the address of this node is available in next part this is the head node and the next part contains the address of the next node which is assigned as new head if head is equals null it means that list is empty we cannot do deletion then deleting the last node in the list now again consider the same list now we have to delete the last node 27 for deleting the last node you have to make the address of the next part of the previous node as null because the next pointer equals to null indicates that it is the last node so how will you do this delete n you need to know the address of the last but one node to delete this node because this is the part to be changed so this let us consider we have identified the address of the last but one node and it is available in temp now this is getting cancelled because this is assigned as null now the list terminates here we have only 31 and 10 in the list last element has got deleted this is the pseudocode for the same suppose again the list is not empty that is checked by head not equals null i'm going to traverse the list so we have temp is equal to head and again we are going to be in the loop till i reach the last but one node the last but one node is is determined as next of next of not equal to null means that if this is the temp node we are starting from here because i am assigning temp is equal to head so we are starting from the first node and this node of next is this point then this is this node of next this point is pointing to the node with the value 10 so next of next previously it was not null it was pointing to 27 so this temp will be updated so when you reach this point you see temp of next is 27 and 27 of next is null so it will come out of the loop so at the time temp will be holding the address of the last but one node since we need to have the address of the previous node of the node to be deleted we have to use temp of next of next we cannot just employ search for this you have to write search previous node for the key you are searching for so if what is the change we make we make temp of next equals null okay if the list is empty means that head is equal to null we are just saying list is empty because deletion cannot be performed the next operation is delete middle any element in the list okay between front and end let us consider we want to delete 10 again i told you for the element to be deleted you need the address of the previous element to make the possible changes in the pointer so for which i have defined a new method known as find previous of x that is the element to be deleted so while temp of next of data 
so if it is going to be temp initial temp which is assigned here head is equal temp is equals head means that the starting address is now assigned to temp so this is the starting node so temp is here now temp of next is 10 and next of data is 10 so we have to have our temp here suppose 10 is available here we will be updating temp to this node and we will check for the next of data till you find the node with data equal to the element to be deleted you will be updating temp now as per this example since we are starting from here and the next of data is the element to be deleted that is 10 a uh, temp is here so what alteration we have to make temp of this is the node to be so this is we have found this is the temp so temp here it contains the address of the previous node of the node to be deleted okay once you got the node you can identify the address of the node to be deleted which is available in the next part so temp of next is equal to del node okay you have identified temp that is the previous node as well as the node to be deleted so now pointer chain this node should get cancelled means that the temp of next should be pointing to 27 and the address of 27 is available in next part of del node so this temp of next should be equal to del of next so if you make that pointer modification the link is getting broken so we have after 31 now the link goes to 27 so 10 is deleted what are the uses of link list link list can be used to implement stack queues trees graphs and for hashing you can always try link list implementation for stack and queue operations uh, similar to array implementation of stack and queues trees how a general tree can be represented with link list this is a sample tree here you can see many nodes in uh, hierarchical faction now this node a has three children so c d e so how this is represented with list means we have a node with the data value a and the next pointer is pointing to uh, the first child the first child and all the other child nodes that is siblings are represented as a list so in this way the general tree can be represented with the help of linked list now coming to graph this is a sample graph and a node a 0 is adjacent to 1 and 4 so we have a matrix kind where the rows and columns are the number of row nodes in the graph and we have 0 is adjacent to 1 and 4 we have an entry 1 in the respective cells other values of 0 means that it is not adjacent to those nodes this we call it as adjacency matrix this matrix is going to be a sparse matrix because you you will have a few non-zero values and most of the values will be zero so instead of going for this kind of representation which results in wastage of memory space for storing zeros we can always think of this representation uh, that is adjacency list instead of adjacency matrix we have same nodes and whichever nodes are adjacent to uh, this node zero is represented as a list this preserves the space then coming to hashing is something like uh, for searching a value now we have uh, the uh, index value 0 to 4 and if your uh, search key matches to 1 uh, more than 1 key matches to same location or indicated as a linked list means that 1 16 
uh, matches hashes to the address 1 similarly 2 and 32 hashes to address 2 goes on so uh, these are the uh, some examples for uh, link list where link list is actually used to represent the uh, data structures then applications of uh, link list for uh, representing polynomial polynomial will have variables and you have coefficient and you will have uh, exponent part so you can define a node for each and every uh, variable and uh, that is to store the coefficient and will store the exponent part in this way you can represent a polynomial each term in the polynomial is represented as a node with the respective uh, fields in the node and you can try polynomial addition subtraction or multiplication with the help of link list and dynamic memory management i have always i have told you like uh, uh, mlock and free uh, in c programming language there is an example for dynamic memory management and a link list is used for uh, storing the uh, list of free memory space so there is a heap is represented as a link list and system software like uh, uh, for uh, stack whenever you are calling a function the written address of the function is stored in the stack and the stack can be implemented using list the link list and you can think of like written address is stored in the form of a link list and coming to sparse matrix we have already seen in graph example the sparse matrix can be effectively represented in the form of a link list by having only the non zero entries linked together for a particular item practical applications of link list you can uh, see list of images uh, that is uh, that are uh, that need to be burned to a cd in any imaging of application or else a list of uh, users of website uh, for whom email has to be sent can be available as a list link list or else a list of objects in 3d game that need to be rendered onto the screen can be thought of as arranged in link list with this we have come to the end of presentation thank you